I should continue the book you gave me, since I didn't get very far yet. Sure. Over the next few days, Sayori begins each club meeting by approaching Natsuki with unwavering enthusiasm. It's Natsuki! Natsuki! Hi, Natsuki! At the end of one club meeting, Monica, who has become rather invested in Sayori's friendship mission, starts the innocuous conversation with Natsuki while she packs up. It's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share too, right? Yeah, mostly. Huh? Natsuki glances over her shoulder, but doesn't reply further. Well, what's on your mind? Nothing. I don't talk about people behind their backs. Oh. Natsuki falls silent, but she just fidgets instead of getting back to what she was doing, as though she wants to say more. It's okay to share your feelings. That's different from talking about someone behind their back. I guess. I just hate when people talk about me behind my back, so I'm better than to do it to others. Malka shares a bright smile. You're really considerate. Um, thanks, I guess. But it doesn't feel like it. You can trust me. Natsuki stands in silence for a moment, still fidgeting. I just feel smothered sometimes. I'm not used to someone being, like, all over me right after we meet. I mean, it's fun to hang out with her, but I just have no control over the pace. I can't just meet someone and instantly become best friends with them. And, like, share everything about myself. That's not how it works. I just want to chill out sometimes. Oh, I didn't realize that was happening. It's fine. Why would you have? I know, I just feel bad about it. I know Sayori, so I should have realized. Monica navigates through her tinge of guilt, which has surfaced mainly due to her being the one who previously incurred Sayori's behavior. Despite not knowing the situation, Monica can help but feel a little responsible. Do you want to talk to her about it? No, I wouldn't like that. Well, I could... I don't know, I could, like, divert her into another club activity for you or something. No way! That'd be so underhanded and mean. I'm sorry, I didn't think that one through. Besides, just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. I'm sorry. I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if it hasn't been invited to. It's fine. I would talk to Sayori about it, but it would make things really weird between us. I feel like it would make her just constantly be afraid that she's bothering me. I don't know how to just keep things natural. Well, I think if you do a good job expressing all your feelings, she would totally understand. Sayori really wants to be the best she can be for other people. I think she would actually be happy that you want to improve your friendship with her. Maybe. Ugh. It just feels so dumb talking to someone about how to be friends with them. It's just weird and not cool. It's the literature club. Then she mumbles through a stifled laugh. It's not the cool club. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, that just tickled me for some reason. Look, I know that you're kind of in a tough spot and it's hard for you to really express yourself, but you've really demonstrated to me that you're great at self-reflection and critical thinking. Even if it doesn't feel like it to you. I think that's the most important thing of being able to navigate through these things. So I believe that you'll find the right thing to do. Well, Natsuki instinctively starts to reject the compliment, but she can't find any excuse to do so. Thanks. Natsuki gathers her things and then finishes her thoughts in a mumble. And I'm still glad I joined the club, even if it's weird sometimes. Monka smiles, but Natsuki turns her back and walks away before waiting for a reply. It was an unusual way for Natsuki to express her appreciation, but Monica knew what she meant. It made Monica feel like everything really was going to be okay. It's lunchtime. Sayori, who usually buys her lunch, is making her way to the cafeteria like any other day. The clamor and bustle of the students is drowning by Sayori's impeccable skill of zoning out. However, her imagination is momentarily interrupted by the glimpse of a familiar pink-haired girl. Hey, it's Natsuki! I never run into other club members around the school. Natsuki! Sayori stands on her tiptoes and waves. Natsuki, who's busy walking and chatting with her friends, doesn't notice Sayori at first. Then she glances over in Sayori's direction. Sayori waves enthusiastically. <laughs> Following her friends, Satsuki quickly ducks around the corner. Hey! She definitely saw me! Oh god, ouch! Straight up just dodged! Monica is the first to arrive to the club meeting, then Natsuki. Sayori, having glanced through the window to see Natsuki already inside, is unable to work up enough courage to enter. Natsuki's been so distant with me. I was stupid to think she ever wanted to be friends. She only got excited because she got to share her manga. But aside from that, she doesn't even like me. I should just go home today. Um, sorry, but do you plan on going inside? No. Why? I'm sulking. Oh, well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Excuse me. 
No, don't leave me! Oh, I'll stay here then. I don't want to go in. I'm afraid of bothering Atsuki. I saw her at lunch today, so I waved and called out to her. But instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. Really? Hmm, not bad. Hey! Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, that was a joke. It just sounded like something stupid that I would do for an anxiety. Anxiety? Anxiety? Exi Anxiety. From anxiety? Well, I just don't like attention being drawn to myself. Oh, well that makes sense based on the person you are. But Natsuki isn't shy like that at all. I thought we were friends. But it feels like every day she's just trying to distance herself more instead of getting closer to me. It makes me feel like she was only spending time with me during the club because I was reading manga. But she doesn't actually want to be friends with me. Um, well, I feel like I'm missing a lot of context here. Was she in the middle of anything when you approached her? No, she was just walking with her friends. With her friends. Yuri paused for a moment. How do I put this? Sayuri, you're very fond of your friends, right? You always want to be spending time with them. Of course! I don't think there's anything more important to me. I mean, the best parts of my day are always with my friends. Besides that, I really hate being alone, so... You hate being alone? Sayuri nods. We're very different people. I cherish my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. So I think... Well, if I was trying to have alone time and it was being threatened with an interruption, then it just would not make me very happy happy. Yeah, but this doesn't have the, this... Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with Natsuki. She was already with her friends, not trying to be alone or anything. No, I think it's similar. It's... Well, we're all friends in the club, but we have our own lives outside of the club as well. If you think about it, making new friends isn't some casual occurrence that happens on a daily basis. A friendship is an invitation to intertwine your lives together, but the capacity at which each person is ready to do that might be different. There are friends who just like to have fun together and others who talk every day and share every detail of their lives with each other. I think when establishing a friendship, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I mean, we don't really know much about Natsuki's life outside of the club. It could be that she simply needs to make friends at her own pace rather than jump headfirst into a new commitment. But that means I really was bothering her. I just really wanted to be good friends with her. So I treated her like one. Was I actually hurting her? I don't know. I'm sorry. My insight was really only based on what I understand about my own needs. And Natsuki and I are completely different, so... Was I so selfish? Even if all that is true, then it still means I hurt her. I think I messed up. Yuri, with you, I think I was really careful to understand your needs when I was becoming friends with you. But I wasn't careful at all with Natsuki because she already seemed really social. I just took control of everything instead of looking for the right balance. Now I heard her and she doesn't want to talk to me. How could I let myself do this? Um, Sayori? I think that, well, there was one time you told me something about the way I saw things in my head being different from reality. It's easy to automatically jump to the worst case scenario, but I think it's more likely that Natsuki didn't harbour any ill feelings towards you. I enjoy listening to others. 